Hey YouTube, this is Kelly Love back. It's been a long time since I made any updated videos. Been kind of a rough winter, but I wanted to show this first because one of the bananas that I used to have in the ground, uh, I pulled out and potted it. And these are the result of a banana tree constantly growing here in Cincinnati, Ohio zone six for at least three years. And these are baby bananas. And it started out from a bloom that looked like a fat cob of corn growing on a plant. And it was stubby leaves coming up. And for the first time and all the time I've been growing bananas, I have a flower with the bananas coming out. And I've had it in this big old pot for a little while. I got two of them, but this is the one that's blooming. So I'm excited and I cannot wait. So I can get those seeds out and plant those fresh new banana trees. And to show you where I got them from, hold on one second. We're gonna walk around all my junk I'm working on. I got a lot of stuff happening here. And I keep these in pots. These are yucca, the, what is these? Uh, color guards and then the regular one. I don't remember the actual name for these, but I keep them in pots because once you plant them in the ground, those, uh, the roots will grow super deep and it's kind of hard to get them out and they'll just keep growing back. So I put them in pots and I plan on putting these around my deck and patio area later once it's complete. This is a uh, lavender I snatched out the ground. It's a little woody so I decided to take it out and I'm growing brand new ones. This is my area where I, one of my videos I did on how to um, protect your winterize your uh, the moose of bijou banana trees in the winter and i dug a couple of them out that's why it's a little flat here i dug two giant root balls out where i cut it down to about six inches above the root ball and i just cover the whole area with a bunch of loose like yard uh, leaves and uh the plants that i cut down the leaves i cut out the banana plant i just put them all on top and then i put a um a full bag of mulch right on top so it keeps it warm so two of them have been dug out, but I took a couple smaller root balls off of it and put them back in the ground. So these other ones haven't been moved. And I'm sorry, I turned this phone the wrong way when I started this though. Um, but I was so excited looking at my little banana trees. But anyway, um, once I pulled these out, close to the end of April, closer to Mother's Day, I could see that they'll be growing because those root balls are gonna be pretty big. So anyway, I'm excited to see them later on, but right now they're still covered because here in Cincinnati, Ohio zone six, little early to put too many things out because we still have the frost threats, which here usually happen at least a few times before Mother's Day. So right now I'm just bringing a couple of plants out just to get some sun and putting them back and especially this banana tree um the leaves and everything will wilt in this the very cool mornings so i just bring it out to give it a little fresh air and some sun and put it back and i'm in the process of putting things back uh about a little one of those little trays of daffodils and they grew really fast so they can kind of tolerate some of this coolness, so I stuck them out. I don't know, I may leave them out tonight, but just wanted to let them have a little sunshine and they're doing great. And these are some potatoes, store-bought potatoes that were growing. So I just decided to go ahead and mix up a lot of some good soil and compost manure and everything and stick them in a wheelbarrow. My husband drilled some holes under the bottom for me, so as you can see there, growing pretty good they've been in there since february 22nd that's the day i actually did those it's on that little post i put in there so anyway they're doing great and i expect to have some decent potatoes in there and i've got several other things going in here but this is really junky in here i've got random cannas and i got a few more banana tree bulbs in here kind of sprouting out a little bit so i decided to pot them up to get them started growing and um like I said, random cannas and another thing, a grow bag with potatoes in it so that I can kind of compare the differences and eventually I'll put some in the ground. And I've got all types of 
plants in here growing and I've even got some romaine that I cut down and just stuck in some water and it's grown. It only took a couple days for it to start growing back and here's some lupin and I've got marigolds and alyssum in this tray up here and I gotta take all those millions of plants out and repot them soon. I've got all types of lavender and grasses and coleus and all types of stuff in here. Um, I've got Cleopatra bulb. I potted in my little gym shoe. And then a random cannon bulb that came out of my aunt's yard. She didn't even know it was in there, but there it is. I believe that's a can of banana red up there. And I've got some beef steak tomatoes growing in this little makeshift little greenhouse here. And they came up pretty fast. So I'm gonna have to put more dirt in those cups and um, give them a little more time to grow. And I kind of take them out sometime and let them get a little, a little light, but I'll be getting those out and rotating everything around. And I've got different types of sunflowers coming up, man. They come up quick. And some sunflowers down here, they're growing pretty good. And I've got tons more things to grow. So this garage is a hot mess and I got to clean it all up. I did straighten it up a little bit. And my Lord, if you all have seen it before, I cleaned this up. You, you would have wondered how in the world did I walk through here. But... Um, I'm making it work because I don't have a shed or a greenhouse as of yet, but I'm working on it. So anyway, another banana I just leave growing. Sometimes I do stuff in here just to, just to experiment to see what's going to happen. My neighbor calls me a botanist, so okay, whatever. But anyway, um, that is it. I just thought I would do this. Oh, and I got a couple of my alliums coming up out here and I need to trim down these grasses more. Now, this is a zebra. I need to pull that all the way out because this has gotten too big because it grows like more than 13 feet now. And then here's some of my alliums, but it's like tons of alliums all in this area here between this nine bark and this grass. There are alliums all in here and they all haven't come up yet, but they will. And it's different sizes and everything. So got a lot to do. My irises always come up and uh, do pretty good and they've multiplied quite a bit since I first bought them. They, they always do great. And I got a few of those Millennium Alliums back here. And some um, couple of bushes I need to pull out of there. It's like four plants in that little pot, but that was just to keep them from dying. So I'm gonna stick them in the ground someplace, plant it out real well and get them somewhere. So anyway, this is a hot mess, but I'm gonna fix it up. And before you know it, I'm gonna be making a video and I'm going to be wild and so will you. So anyway, uh, goodbye and I'll see you next time. Thank you.